We had a great summer, strength and conditioning, that maturity level has just come up another notch and uh, I'm telling you, we're, we're excited about this young group of kids and, and just the talent level that we have this year. Yeah, you lost uh, some big names from last season's team, but uh, do you feel like you have the guys to step up and, and not skip a beat there? Absolutely, absolutely, and, and again, it boils down to the, the maturity level these kids has raised from last year. We played a lot of young kids last year, especially on defense. They've got a year under their belt of varsity football. Um, and, and it's just, I mean, we're crazy excited about it. That's what uh, Dave Campbell's in the write-up said. You guys are going to look to your defense. Is that an accurate statement there? Absolutely. And, and uh, I mean, I don't read Dave Campbell's magazine, but uh, if that's what he said, I like it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess talk about the experience and how important it is to have a defense that, uh, that returns all those starters. Absolutely. And, and early on, I think it's very, very important. You know, some of the toughest times of the year are, is early on, and, and uh, when you're coming out there trying to get your offense to click and, and trying to get it to gel, uh, if you've got a strong defense that, that's got some experience under the belt, you can usually have some success. So that's what we're leaning on. And early on is big for you guys because the last season start, you want to get that out of your system. And, uh, oh, absolutely. I, mean, I think you can start quick this year. Absolutely. We, we still, you know, we still feel gut kicked about last year and, and starting out 0-3. And, and uh, you know, we schedule those guys for a reason. I mean, they're damn good football team. And, and uh, you know, they're going to help prepare us for the, for the regular season and for the postseason. And uh, so we don't have a problem playing them again, but we're just going to try to fix things this year. Who do you have in this room other than uh, Hunter? We've got West of Coe East to start off with. And those guys are they're bulldozers. Yeah. you know. Uh, so we're excited about getting another shot at them. And then we have Harlingen, and then we got to go to Corpus Christi and play Flower Bluff, is, who's picked to go to the playoffs again this year. So, um, On offense, talk about Puente and uh, his kind of still adapting to quarterback. Is he all the way there yet? Well, oh, absolutely. Jacob has always worked quarterback with us, okay? We've always worked him at the quarterback position. He was a quarterback his freshman year. Uh, even though he started at receiver for us for two years, uh, he was always worked the quarterback position, so it was an easy fit for him. He adds another dimension to what we're doing. He's a young man that has, has got some great feet. Uh, he can run the football. Uh, I think we were very one-sided last year as far as, you know, hand the ball to Tommy and, and uh, throw the ball a little bit. Uh, we didn't have a very mobile quarterback. Uh, so I think Jacob definitely adds another dimension of what we're doing. What's the next step for you guys? You made the playoffs a bunch of years in a row. But what's the next step? We need to win a district championship. We need to win a district championship, 32-5A district championship. You know, and it, it's not going to be easy. Westico's returning a bunch of people. They've got a good squad. Um, you know, Los Fresnos is, is getting their second year under their belt of their offense and their defense, and, and they've always got good kids. Uh, Pace is stacked. Hannah's got a bunch of kids coming back. So it's not going to be easy, but, you know, that's the next step for us. We need to win a district championship.